Nintendo. Hello, anybody, and welcome to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. I'm Mr. Devious, or just Deep, and today I'm starting LP number 3, the first Mario & Luigi game, made in 2003 by Alpha Dream, published by Nintendo. This is a Mario RPG slash platformer, so it's a little different, but a little the same from the last two RP LPs that I did. And I really enjoy this game. It's like Paper Mario, but with its own flavor. And, you know, Luigi. So without further ado, let's just get right to it. Ignore that. So, here's the thing that I feel I should get out of the way before I actually do start the LP, is I am going to be reading text that the characters say, because this is a very text-heavy RPG, and I don't want to talk over it, by which I mean I don't want to talk about unrelated stuff, but at the same time I don't want to be entirely silent during it, because just text could be boring, I guess? I don't know. If you don't like voices, I do apologize, but I'll try not to ham it up too much. So, let us begin. Oh god, the flicker. Emergency situation! Did you see the Kingdom Courier? And just fly right by him and ignore him. Mario! So here we start in Mario's house. Little did you know, we're playing this game as Toad. This is actually Toad Superstar Saga. And he fell. So, here's Toad. Uh, he doesn't move very fast, and he doesn't have any moves, and that's because he is just being controlled for the sake of being controlled here. Hmm. I hear humming. Oh, no. The horror. Yes, Mario, that is exactly how you wake people up. P Princess Peach. P -p Princess Peach. Beach. And that's all he really needs to say for Mario to get the message. So jump right into your clothes. Oh, hey Luigi. Oh no, Bowser, what happened to you? And Luigi goes flying and... Attacking me when my back is turned, huh? Well, that's typical. Come here, super coward brothers. So right away, we get into a battle with a very ugly-looking Bowser. This game takes no time getting right to the action. Peach is crying, Luigi's panicking, and we are jumping on Bowser's head. And he's trying to breathe fire at us, but enough of that. Mario! When was your last battle? Did you already forget about your action commands? No. Oh, really? I should have known! Sorry for the interruption. So he was about to give us a little tutorial on action commands, but I pretty much know them. They're pretty much the same as most RPGs, Mario RPGs, where you press the A button just as you come in contact, and you come in just as soon as you come in contact and you'll deal extra damage. Now, when Bowser tries to breathe fire at us, Mario can jump to avoid it. Mario! And he's about to tell us this. I forgot something. This is really important. You can also dodge Bowser's attacks. Do you want to know how? No! I already know how. Oh, really? I should have known. 
Sorry for the interruption. And he goes back to panicking. So yeah, as Toad said, even though the button prompt wasn't there on the left before, we could jump to avoid Bowser's fire, which I like that, you know, if this isn't your first time playing, you can go ahead and jump to avoid it. It's interesting that this game will ask you if you want certain tutorials, but not for others. So, like, at this point of the game, we got some optional tutorials, but later on there will be unoptional tutorials. And that's it for Bowser. Uh, wait a second. Listen, this is no time for fighting, even though I would have won. Listen to me, everyone. Something terrible has happened. The goodwill ambassador from our neighbor, the Bean Bean Kingdom, just paid a visit. Yeah, but it was no friendly visit. The ambassador stole Princess Peach's voice. B pig, snake, snake, mouse, spider. A and replaced it with this explosive vocabulary. Salamander bomb skull. Ugh. Salamander bomb spider bat skull. Grr, if I kidnap Princess Peaches in this state, she'll wreck my castle. Mario, do something super. Mario, please go and retrieve Princess Peach's beautiful voice. Only you can do it. The perpetrator came from the Bean Bean Kingdom. If you head over there, you should be able to learn more. <laughs> yes, go capture that fiend and get back Peach's voice, and then I can kidnap her. Oh, Bowser, why are you so short and ugly in this game? We'll take my Koopa Cruiser and reach the Bean Bean Kingdom in no time. Mario! We leave immediately! Oh my god, I... Um... Well. So, off on an adventure yet again. I just hope your long vacation hasn't left you out of shape. You can stretch out and warm up here in this plaza. Oh, and I talk to everyone around here. Who knows what you might learn? Nah, I'm gonna go home. Mario, Bowser isn't that way. So we get scolded for trying to leave. That big, bad, mean, altogether nasty Bowser went rushing out toward the other exit. So, here we have it, the tutorial era, where we first get to control Mario. Mario can jump, as you can clearly see. Uh, it, it's a good idea to explore this area pretty thoroughly your first time around. So, you're going to the Bean Bean Kingdom. That's quite a journey. Do you want to learn about action icons before you go? No. Oh, I see. Fine then. Great. Good luck in the Bean Bean Kingdom. You'll need it. Thanks a lot, jerk. So, he was just going to tell us about those icons in the upper right, where it says the A button and that I can jump. Those will change periodically throughout the game. There's really no need for a tutorial for that. Oh, Mario, your mustache looks so silky smooth today. Show me that super jump! We can't actually jump that high in the game. Oh, that was so awesome! Mario, you're the only one in the whole world who can jump like that. You rule. Well, me and the other guy. So, yeah, it's a good idea to explore this entire area, area as thoroughly as you can, because you can't come back here. Oh, we jump up here. We got a mushroom. An off-colored mushroom. Oh, wow, my mushroom. You got it for me? No! Of course. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. But, say, you're going to the Bean Bean Kingdom soon, huh? You'd better keep it then. And please take this as a going-away gift. I insist. You get a super mushroom. Good luck with all your jumping and stuff over there in the Bean Bean Kingdom. So we just got a couple of mushrooms. A mushroom and a super mushroom. We'll talk to that guy in a second. Uh, mushroom and a super mushroom. Mushrooms are the healing item in this game, as they tend to be in Mario RPGs. I do believe there are three mushrooms in the main plaza that you can get. We'll talk to him last. Ah, hey Luigi. Uh, but yeah, as I said, it's a good idea to explore everything that you can. There's really not a lot to see here, but it is worth... There are some pretty tricky jumps in this game. So go up there, we get a mushroom. We talk to this guy. This is weird. I can't seem to find my precious belonging. Mario, do you think maybe you could help me look for it? Sure. I think I dropped it while I was walking up here, so focus on this ledge, okay? You know, when you approach suspicious looking areas, the action icon changes. If I were you, I'd ask that guy near the fountain about the action icons. Well, he got a little snippy with us, so I don't think I'm going to be doing that. 
We found something precious. Doesn't tell us what it is. I'm... What do you think it is? Leave it in the comments, I guess. Hey, that's it. That's the precious belonging I've been looking for. Thank you. You are the best. The best. Please take this in return. We got a one-up mushroom. One-up mushrooms in this game function as revives, phoenix downs, whatever you want to call them. So now we're going to go over here and talk to this very snazzy looking Koopa Troopa. Looks like he's ready to fly a plane. Oh dear, ack, trouble. I've gotten separated from the Bowser baddies. Um, listen, do you know where Lord Bowser is gone? Yes. Great. Which way did he go? That way, this way, that away. No idea. That away. He went up. Oh, okay. Thanks. It's almost time to assemble, and boy, I can't miss that. I've got to hurry. It actually does help to tell that guy where to go, because he will pay us back later. Kingdom Courier, Volume 1. Royal Speech Bombs! The villain who stole the lovely voice of the princess has fled to the Bean Bean Kingdom. Mario has reportedly been tapped for the rescue mission. Rescue mission. As per usual, Luigi will stay home to guard the home front? Question mark? People in this game do not have much confidence in Luigi. Oh, thanks, Luigi, but Toad already told us that. Well, I guess Luigi's not really going to be following us after all. We just talk to him, he just goes bye-bye. Mario and Luigi have no dialogue in this game. They just make their sounds. And we are going to save and continue here. Because I want to get to a little bit further before I call this an episode. Uh, I actually really like the save screen in this game. Where it just you write a little entry into the, I guess, dossier. And then you get a stamp so it's all notarized and everything. Yeah, so I recently returned from a really nice trip to the Bean Bean Kingdom. Ah, Hoo Hoo Mountain, Oho Ocean, Chuckle Huck Woods, Teehee Valley. So much to see. I've recorded all my travels in my save album. This is a weird book, this save album, because it's kind of backwards. Maybe that's because of the way books are, like, in Japan? Or is that just the comics? I, I don't know. I just know that it's read right to left. Bowser's Koopa Cruiser is parked just up ahead. Whew, that is one mean machine. Boy! Anyway, it's time you were on your way. Head in that direction once you're ready, okay? But, uh, rushing headfirst into trouble like you always do is crazy, so be sure to save with that save album. Oh, thanks a lot, Toad. There's a lot of Toads in here, and this is the most Toads we'll be seeing in the game, because as said, we are going to Master Mario! We're going to the Bean Bean Kingdom. If we don't get interrupted, it would appear I'm just in time. I have prepared a suitcase for you to take with you on your long journey. Okay, apparently Toadsworth is a bad Sean Connery. I'm quite sure it will prove useful as it holds many items and outfits. Please, take it. We got our inventory. We got the nebulous concept of an inventory. Just press select and open your suitcase and check the menu screen. Then you can use any items you found on your journey or even change your clothes. Yes, that is what a suitcase is for. It's also a good idea to use that screen to double check your personal status. Once you board the Koopa Cruiser, you can take your time and look through it. Now then, I have one more parting gift as it were. Some funds for your trip. Here you go. I like this detail in most Mario RPGs when Mario is going to a different land like this and Thousand Year Door, he gets money. Oh gracious, Master Luigi, are you going to the Bean Bean Kingdom as well? Bye -bye. Yeah, he's just seeing us off. Ah, you're just seeing Master Mario off? A capital idea. I do believe I'll join you. Master Mario, I'm going on ahead. I shall be waiting for you in front of the Koopa Cruiser. And now I don't think we'll ever have to do that voice again. Or maybe we will. What am I doing? Okay, saving again was totally needless, but you know, whatever. One detail I like here is that Luigi will keep pace with you and follow you, but if you go back, he won't follow you back. So that's a neat little touch. So sorry if this opening scene is a bit tutorial early and cutscene-y. That's just how Mario RPGs tend to be. And in fact, we're almost at the end of this video, but there's just one more thing I want to do. Where the heck is everybody? 
Mario! Oh, he's yelling at us. You're late! What were you doing? We're leaving right now, so get on board and make it snappy! Jeez, that's a good jump. <laughs> well, so, what do you think? Incredible, isn't it? This is my newest weapon, the Koopa Cruiser. Hmm, <laughs> yes, very good. Now all I need are my baddies. Bowser baddies! Bye bye. <laughs> uh. Gah, where are they? Huh? What in green blazes? Hey, you! Are you signing up to join my crew of Bowser baddies? I see, I see. You want me to bring you along that badly, huh? <laughs> oh, Luigi, you're... This is the first. Yes, you! This is the first of many situations where he gets himself into trouble. <laughs> oh, that's rich. Don't be modest, Mr. Green. I mean, you look like a real pain, but I'll take you anyway. Go, Luigi, go. Hey, you, stop! Your gnarliness. The baddies have just arrived. Hey! The assembly area is over here, you blithering idiots! This is some really good panic music for this game. So we got all the Koopas, we got some Goombas in the back. All baddies have assembled. We shall now begin boarding the Koopa Cruiser. The voices between the Koopas are not going to be consistent. Wahaha! <laughs> good! Then we can depart! And with an increased headcount too! Excellent! Your filthiness! Boarding is now complete! Except for one deserter. What? Move it, you idiots! Initiate cruiser caprice. <laughs> this ship is not as tiny as it looks. One more thing I wanted to say before that was over. The toad heads look kind of weird in this game, but... This is the first incarnation of Fist. We will see a bigger fist in New Super Mario Bros. U. And now we are above the Mushroom Kingdom. Hey, you! Down there in the ship's belly! Mario and... what's your name? Green Guy! I think that's Bowser, anyway. Mario! And Mr. Green Mario, Brother Guy! Look alive down there, will you two? We're about to arrive in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Press select, open your suitcase, arrange your stuff, and get ready to roll. Then report to the deck. Pronto! All right, so we just acquired Luigi, and we are in the hull of the Koopa Cruiser. However, I know that we didn't really do much in this episode, and I like that this hand is here. It's a really nice detail. But we're going to be saving here and calling that an episode. I know that we didn't really do much, but that's just how the start of a lot of games go. In the next episode, we will explore the Koopa Cruiser hold and move up to the deck and meet with Bowser. See you in the next one.